With submachine guns being a very popular PvP choice, it makes sense that players gravitate towards the Peacekeeper exotic boots since they give a variety of bonuses to submachine guns. In today's video, we're talking about the reloading when stowed part of Peacekeepers. If you do that correctly, it'll take about 1.3 seconds to auto-load in your backpack. I'm sure most PvP Titans already take advantage of this, but did you know about the NOM load? Keep your eyes glued on my SMG magazine. You're gonna see by swapping off of my SMG, then immediately back on, it reloads while firing. This is a technique popularized by a streamer of the same name, a longtime SMG user, and somebody who has ran me way too many times in Rumble with that anti back in the day. Now you can't nom load multiple times in a row. To reset it, you have to swap weapons again, or as I found out recently, you can pull out the ghost, and pulling out the ghost does not interrupt the Ravenous Beast perk on Terraba. In the next clip, we put everything we learned into action. First, with a normal SMG fire and reload, now a nom load. Then once empty, I pull the ghost out once to reset the nom load, and then a second time to actually reload it. After this, I activate the Ravenous Beast perk, and then nom load while in the Ravenous Beast perk. You don't have enough time to set up a second nom load within the Ravenous Beast perk duration. Just go for only one at the most. As you end up mastering this technique, you'll be able to pop in and out of cover while setting up the nom load and fighting multiple opponents at once or breaking a titan barricade and killing the titan behind it in one fluid motion. I hope you found the video useful and stop by nom stream sometime and cheer him on. He has one of the highest combat ratings so typically he gets uh, team balanced into oblivion and it's really cool to see him shoot his way out. Bye!